The Trump administration likes to do these different themes. Uh, they do, you know, themes for manufacturing, manufacturing week, etc. So uh, this week's a different week. Let's go to find out what it is. The White House announced that it would hold a Made in America week to highlight the president's America First policy. Well, that's great. Well, let's go to the Trump both during the campaign and right after he got into office talking about this issue. I'll be the greatest jobs president that God ever created. I'll take them back from China, from Japan, from Mexico. We're here today to celebrate American engineering and American manufacturing. We're also here today to celebrate jobs, jobs. We have a very big push on to have auto plants and other plants, many other plants. You're not being singled out, believe me. Mary, I promise. Okay. <laughs> but to have a lot of plants from a lot of different uh, uh, items built in the United States. And it's happening, it's happening bigly. It's happening bigly. Well, let's check in on the progress of that and see how it's going. Mark Noller will ask the question about this week. He said, asked if the Made in America campaign will influence and end to Trump brand products made abroad, official says, quote, oh, I will get back to you. <laughs> In other words, no. So we checked into it. Uh, Trump shirts are not made in America. They are made in China. China's killing us on trade. They're killing us on trade. What do they do? We got to stop that. Anyway, they're made, Trump shirts are made in China, Bangladesh, Honduras, and Vietnam. I don't believe those are American states. Okay, his suits are made on in Indonesia and Mexico. The eyeglasses, who's got Trump eyeglasses on? God help you, I hope you're not on the road. Anyway, made in China, uh, he has Trump home. Those are high items in your home, made in China, Turkey and India. And uh, everything in this hotel is pens, toiletries are, I mean, come on, that's his pride to the jewel of the Trump empire. Yeah, no, they're made in Taiwan and China. Uh, and uh, how about Ivanka's products? China, Indonesia, Vietnam, India, Bangladesh, and Ethiopia. So what happened? I thought we were gonna make everything in America. <laughs> this week is made in America week. And Trump goes, it doesn't matter. My own voters are so stupid. I'll make all my stuff abroad and I'll tell people that I care about made in America. You think that even like beforehand, Okay, he's running for president, he's a scam artist. So he's telling you that he's gonna bring the jobs home. And remember when he was like, Oreos is going to Mexico to make some of their Oreos over there? Chris Christie, you're not allowed to eat Oreos anymore. He said that, okay? He's like, that's, oh, there's, oh, we have to do something about this, okay? So we can't eat it anymore, okay? That means you can't buy Trump shirts. I mean, who's buying Trump shirts anyway? But apparently some suckers. Suits, you can't go to any of his hotels under his own thing. But you think after he became president, he'd do something about it, right? At least the one thing he could help is not necessarily an Oreo or another company, he could do his own company. Nope, they're still making them in all those different places. By the way, they're undercounting. There's 12 countries overall where he outsources to more than that list. And then there's an, more countries on top of that, it gets shipped through, etc. But one last time, all 12 countries that he produces his products in. China, Netherlands, Mexico, India, Turkey. Slovenia, Honduras, Germany, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Vietnam, and South Korea. And I'm pretty sure none of those are in America, the world's largest hypocrite. If you like the Young Turks, you'll love Young Turks membership, tytnetwork.com slash join.